Hey everybody, so this is Unit 7, Module 1, Session 6, uh, Homework. Um, as always, hopefully you're using this as a way to check your work or to answer questions if you get stuck. If you start understanding, then try and pause it, do some, and then use this to check it. All right, let's get started. All right, so Jamal can paint half of his closet in 12 minutes. How long will it take him to paint the entire closet? Um, complete the ratio table to show the answer. So I've been thinking about this one a little bit. And I was thinking like, well, he can do one fifth. Um, what if I said two fifths? I know the ratio table just goes to one section. That doesn't look like a very good five. Um, so two fifths would just be another 12, right? So that's 24. So every single time I could just fill this out, three fifths, um, that's just plus 12, four fifths plus 12. So every time is plus 12. I could do that. Then five fifths is what we want our answer, right? Or what they were thinking is, what do I multiply one fifth to get to five fifths? Well, that's times five, right? So 12 times five, what's 12 times five? Well, 12 times five, 12 times 10, oh, excuse me, five times 10 is 50, five times two is 10, so it's 60. I think it'll take them 60 minutes. That's my answer. All right, so now they don't give us the ratio table. Frank can clean one-fourth of his room in 15 minutes. How long will it take Frank to clean the entire room? So I'm going to make a ratio table. Um, and this is minutes. I'm just going to write M-I-N. -in. And then this is the um, clean room. And he has one-fourth, right? One-fourth. That's 15 minutes. So he has two fourths, or one half, um, 30 minutes, right? So then the question is, at one, at what point does he have all of it? So we could go straight from one fourth, and we could multiply that by four, so 15 times four. So this way we go 15 times four, because one fourth times four. So that's a weird line there, that's really weird. Four, I hit the bottom of my screen. Um, or we can keep going by 15s. So this would be 3 fourths would be 45, and then another 15. I believe that would be 60 minutes as well. They finished cleaning their room and painting the closet at the same time. I wonder if they planned that. Okay, let's keep going. And I'm going to raise this arrow because that kind of got in the way. I'll do that one. There we go. Um, write a story problem for the expression 15 divided by one third. Remember that 15 divided by one third means how many thirds are there in 15. So um, I'm not going to write this story problem. I'm going to let you think of one. I, I, I tried to think of one before was like, what if someone had 15 like really large cookies um, and they want to give each person one third of the cookie? then how many people could they feed? I just said I was going to give you a question, that I did. But I didn't write it down. How about that? Um, but I'm thinking more like how many one-thirds? I just want to look at the picture. One, two, three, four, five. How many one-thirds? I'm going to call that one-third. How many of those one-thirds are in that, in all of those combined? So think of that. There's three for every one of them. So it's kind of an interesting question. I just like the question. You come up with a question of your own. Maybe a maple bar. That wouldn't be very much fun to get a third of it, though. I'm just trying to think of things that you would give somebody a third of. You guys probably have more ideas. I thought about it for a long time before, and I just couldn't think of one. Um, okay, find the sum and difference. Some review. I love review. Now, we can't add or subtract these until they have the same denominator, right? So I have to change that. I could either change it to, I can multiply the denominators together, or I know that thirds go into ninths. Um, so I'm gonna change that into um, two thirds. I'm gonna work up here. Two thirds equals how many ninths? Well, I'm actually gonna multiply that by one, which seems weird, right? Times one um, equals, something over nine. Now my one though is going to be three over three. Okay, so three times three is nine, two times three is six. So I think this two thirds becomes six ninths plus four ninths. So now I have 10 ninths 
which equals one and one ninth. All right, let's see how much room I have writing in this bigger pen. Let's go red this time. I'm gonna use a smaller number, a smaller size of pen. Okay, now I'm looking for twelfths and fifths. So when I'm finding the common denominator, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go by my fives and my twelves. Okay, I'm gonna go multiples of, and I'm not gonna do my fives because my fives just always end in zero and five, right? Five, 10 as a zero, 15 as a five, 20 as a zero, talking really fast. I'll stop, but I have 12. I have 24 as a second um, multiple. 36, still five can't go into it. I uh, 48, and then I have 60. And I know that it's 60 because it ends in zero, so I'm gonna turn them both into 60ths. 60. So I'm going to do some work over on the side over here. Okay. I'm going to go um, 3 fifths equals, oh, let's see. I'm going to multiply it equals 60th. So I'm going to multiply by 1, but i got to figure out 5 times what. Well, we already kind of decided it was the fifth multiple of 12. So that's 12. And so that becomes 3 times 12, 36. 36 sixtieths. Now, I'm going to turn my other number, my 5 twelfths. Now, we knew it was the fifth multiple of 12, so we're going to multiply by 5 over 5. Okay? So that becomes 25 sixtieths. 25 sixtieths. So now I just need to add 25 and, and 36, because it's going to be over 60. Um, I'm going to go right over here. I'm just going to keep doing some work over here. 36 plus 25. Um, Carry my one, 61. 61 sixtieth. So that equals one whole and one sixtieth. There's my answer for that one. All right. Whew. Okay. Next one. Now I know from the first, from A, that thirds go into ninths. So I'm going to turn this third, whoops, sorry. I'm going to turn this third into, um, I think it's three ninths, right? So I'm going to go one and three ninths plus seven ninths equals one and ten ninths. Well, that's improper, that ten ninths. So I'm gonna make that equal. I have a whole other hole I can take out of there because there's over nine, so I have two and one ninth. What do you think? Bring in uh, arguments if you think that I made a mistake. Ooh, this one. Um, two and four fifths minus 11 twelfths. Hmm, okay. So I got a few ways to think about this one. Let me change the color. Okay. So I need to change my fifths and twelfths. We, we already decided those go to sixtieths. Okay, so I'm gonna go um, two and something over 60 minus something over 60. So let's do our work over here again. So four fifths. We multiplied fifths by 1, uh, 12 over 12, so that equals 48 sixtieths. This is going to be a little bit cumbersome, that's okay. And then um, 11 twelfths, well, we change 11 twelfths into sixtieths. Well, let's just do it, let's go here. Um, times 5 over 5, remember, that equals 55 sixtieths. Now, we got a problem. Um, 55 is bigger than 48. So we have a few things we could do. We could take that 55 sixtieths from the hole, right? We have two holes sitting right there. Or I could borrow, that seems, I don't know, there's so many different ways. I'm curious if the way you would do it. Um, but I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna erase some of my work. Okay, so if you wanna see my work, you have to go back in the video. I'm gonna erase my work and I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna make, um, I'm going to take this problem and I'm going to go 2 minus 55 sixtieths and then I'm going to put back my 48 sixtieths. What? What am I doing? And I'm actually going to change that 2 into a 1 plus 1 minus 55 sixtieths. Pause and just breathe for a second if this doesn't make sense. Okay, I'll put back this. So my 1 this one is going to become one um, plus 60 sixtieths minus 55 sixtieths, whoa, plus 48. Now, I wouldn't always write all this down. This is me trying to show what I'm thinking. 
Now I can solve this. Okay, so 60 60th minus 5 60th becomes 5 60th. Oops, I'll move that up a little bit. And then I have the, oh, 5 60th, sorry, 5 60th. That's really bad, 60. And then plus the 48 60th. So that equals 1, and those two together equals equal 53 60th. 1 and 53 60th. That was a lot of work. And I know there are other ways. I shouldn't have erased it. Well, but you can rewind it if you want to go through it. Okay. Let's take um, seven or six sevenths and we're gonna take away a half. Um, sevenths and halves. Let's think of sevens. Um, think of my multiples of seven. Seven is the first one, 14. Well, there's my even number. So I'm gonna change it to 14th minus 14. So six sevenths equals how many fourteenths? Well, I'm gonna multiply it. My one in this case is two over two. So that becomes 12 fourteenths, 12 fourteenths. It's getting all jumbled up. And then half of 14 is seven. So 12 minus seven is five fourteenths. Okay, um, we have one more left. Let's turn it, let's go back to blue. Two and one ninth, two and one ninth minus five sixth. Um, Hmm. Okay. So we're going to go, I think that, let's look at our ninths. Ninths, um, 18th. So the first multiple of nine is nine, then 18. So I know six goes into 18. So I'm going to change it into two and two 18th minus, now I multiply this by three, five, six times three over three minus 15 18ths. Okay, so is there another way we could do it, or are we gonna do it like we did before? Take it away from a whole. Two minus 15 eighteenths plus two fifteenths, two eighteenths. So right here, two minus 15 eighteenths equals one and three eighteenths plus two eighteenths. That is, there's some, there's some stuff going on there, huh? Okay. Let's see how much time we have to get the rest of it done. We'll do our best, okay? Um, use a standard algorithm to solve this. So I'm gonna go kind of fast. You can go back through it. Um, I'm just gonna start with this six right here. Six times five is 30. Carry my three. Two times six is 12, plus the three is 15. Carry the one, and one times six is one, plus one is seven. I put an X for my placeholder. That just reminds me to cross that out and cross these out. One times five is five. One times two is two. And one times one is one. Okay, add them up. Zero, zero, carry the one. Seven, eight, nine, 10, carry the one, 2,000. I am going to, well, I think I have time. We'll try and do this. I'm gonna set it up. You can add up all the numbers, okay? So I'm gonna go 125 on the side, and then 16. So I'm gonna go 100, 20, and five. What do you think? And then I'm gonna go 16 as 10 and six. So here's um, 30, here's 50, here's 120, because 106 times 20, and then 20 times 10 is, um, there's a two and two zeros. And 600, and then a thousand. I would bet you, with time running out, that you're going to get um, 2,000. But I'm going to let you add those up because I'm going to try and get to these ones real quick. You just need to know there's 1,000 milliliters in um, one liter. Okay? So if I go 1.2 times um, a thousand, it's a thousand, and then it becomes 1,200 milliliters. Now if I divide 13,000 by um, a thousand, divide by a thousand, it becomes 13 liters. All right. Now if I multiply this one, I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to give you answers. If I multiply this by a thousand, it's going to be 26740. 26,740. And the last one, well the second last one, is um, 2.675 and I'm not gonna have time for the challenge. 
Okay.